This is the video introduction to Lesson 29, Measuring Voltage with a Digital Multimeter, in the Mr. Circuit Basic Electronics Lab Number 2. The multimeter shown in this lab has five ranges of DC or direct current voltage and two ranges of AC voltage. We're going to practice with measuring DC voltage. First, we're going to build a simple series circuit on the solderless circuit board consisting of a 9-volt battery, an LED, and a resistor of 390 ohms. We're going to measure the DC voltage across each of the components in the circuit. Being that we are powering the circuit with a 9-volt battery, we can set the selector knob to 20 on the volt range. That is the position labeled 20 in the DCV area. Be careful not to set the selector knob on the 20M position in the DCA area. The 20M position is just for measuring current, and if you set the selector knob there and try to measure voltage, it will blow the internal fuse or damage your meter. When we set the selector knob to the 20 volts DC range and turn the meter on, we should see 0.00, .00 in the display. The first measurement we're going to make is the voltage across the battery. Notice that I use the word across. This is different from measuring current. When we measured current, we put the meter leads in series with the circuit. But when we measure voltage, we put the meter leads across the component, not in series with it. Here we show the meter leads connected across the 9-volt battery. What does the meter show in this example? It shows 8.63. What does that mean? Well, because we're on the 20-volt DC range, it means 8.63 volts DC. Pay attention to the fact that we have the red lead of the meter touching the positive of the battery and the black lead touching the negative of the battery. We can reverse the leads to measure voltage, and if we do, the meter will show a negative sign on the display showing that we have connected the meter in reverse to the polarity of the battery. That is not a problem, but I just wanted you to be aware of that. Next, we are going to measure the voltage across the LED. How many volts does it measure in our example? The display shows 2.05 which means there is a voltage across the LED of 2.05 volts DC. At this point, I want you to remember what we discussed in Lesson 17. We refer to this voltage across the LED as the voltage drop across the LED. Now let's measure the voltage across the resistor. What does the meter show? 6.57 volts DC. Thus. How much is the voltage drop across the resistor? 6.57 volts. In theory, the voltage drops across the components in a circuit should add up to the voltage of the power source. Here, our power source measured 8.63 volts. How much does 2.05 plus 6.57 add up to? 8.62 volts. Do the voltage drops in our example add up to the battery voltage of 8.63? It is off by one hundredth of a volt. That is probably because the battery voltage went down while we were making these measurements. If you measure all three voltages at the same time, it may come out right. Maybe if you have three meters and want to try it, it would be interesting. But the theory says that the voltage drops have to be equal to the source voltage. Again, I would like to mention that if you measure the voltage of a 9-volt battery when it is not powering a circuit, it will usually measure a higher voltage than it would if it was powering a circuit. When a battery is powering a circuit, we say that the battery is under load. Now it's your turn to go try this experiment. When you have made the voltage measurements as described in Lesson 29, Complete the answers on page 29b. When you have done that, you are ready for lesson 30, which is the last lesson in this lab.